morning, everybody. At this time, we want to post the colors, please. Post the colors. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Present arms. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Two. Retire the colors. As long as two comrades survive, so long will the veterans of foreign wars of the United States render tribute to our heroic dead. Comrades, attention. On this day forever consecrated to our heroic dead, we are assembled once again to express sincere reverence. This monument represents the resting place of many departed comrades who served in all wars. Wherever the body of a comrade lies, there the ground is hollowed. Our presence here is in solemn commemoration of all those men and expression to our tribute to their devotion to duty, to the courage, and to patriotism. By their services on land, on sea, and in the air, they have made us their debtors for the flag of our nation still flies over free people. Comrades, parade rests. Comrade Chaplin, you will ask the divine blessing. Comrades, in cover. Father of us all, in the depth of our silent reverence, we realize the truth of the inspired words. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, there shall be he live. As comrade after comrade departs, we watch on with our ranks growing thinner. Help us to be faithful unto thee and to one another. Look in mercy on the widows and children of our departed comrades. Beseech thee with thy own tenderness, counsel, and comfort those who are bereaved. Heavenly Father, bless our country with freedom, peace, and righteousness. Though thy favor may we meet at last before the throne in heaven. We praise thy great name, great name forever and ever. Amen. Cover. Attention officers and members of Post 6192, Township of Washington, New Jersey, Veterans of Foreign Wars of the United States. We will now pay our respects to our departed comrades, and so doing so, we offer solemn tribute to all comrades, wherever they may rest. Comrade Senior Vice Commander. On behalf of Post 6192, Veterans of Foreign Wars of the United States, I place this symbol of our remembrance. Junior Vice Commander.
I place this symbol of purity. May each future generation emulate the unselfish courage of all men and women who fought for freedom. Comrade Officer of the Day. In memory of the heroic dead who have fallen in defense of the United States of America, I place this tribute of our devotion and everlasting remembrance. Comrade Adjutant. On behalf of VFW Post 6192, I place this emblem of eternity. Its color beseeks its everlasting. Thus do we immortalize the brave deeds of our soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines, who have given their lives on land, on sea, and in the air. On behalf of our glorious republic, for whose integrity our comrades enlisted and served, I place this emblem of the nation. The flag of our country was theirs to defend. Its glorious colors shall wave over them in death as in life for everyone to behold. I call upon Jim Joyce, Jim Dugan, <laughs> I apologize, Jim Joyce said this, to sing God Bless America. While the storm clouds gather far across the sea, let us swear allegiance to a land that's free. Let us all be grateful for a land so rare as we raise our voices in a solemn prayer. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. From the mountains to the prairies to the oceans, Wave with foam, God bless America, my home, sweet home. God bless America, 
my home, sweet home. Mr. Mayor, would you like to say a couple of words? Please be seated, everyone. Good morning. Thank you all for taking the time to be here today. Uh, there's no doubt that our pal Vito is looking down on us, giving us two great days, the days of the dedication and for Memorial, I mean, for Veterans Day, excuse me. Uh, so we thank him for looking down on us. It's a pleasure to be here with all of you this morning at the inaugural use of our new Veterans Memorial. This installation is a reminder of what one individual can accomplish when they are guided by passion and a determination to do the right thing for others. Our young resident, James Stickle, certainly had a vision and a strong desire to express his gratitude to the honorable men and women of the United States Armed Forces. I am humbled by and thankful for this gift he has given us. Any words I have to say are just that, merely words. James took action. His action created this impressive memorial that will benefit the township for many, many years to come by providing us not only with this dedicated, serene environment, which we can come to with intent and focus on the brave, selfless acts of so many individuals, but also it's a place where we will hurriedly drive past as we go about the routine of our daily busy lives. And hopefully it will provide us with that unexpected visual reminder that we all need to take a quiet moment and regroup reprioritize our thoughts on what's really important and valuable in life, to take the focus off ourselves and our routines, and just for a moment, mentally appreciate how much we have to be thankful for and to whom we owe that thanks, our veterans, our unsung heroes. For while we, as civilians, have the true luxury of just expecting freedom as a natural way of life, the brave men and women of our military understand so deeply that it is anything but that. They understand how precious it is, how valuable it is, how it needs to be protected, and how it is worth fighting for, because they have. Imagine that for a minute. Put yourself in their shoes, leaving everything and everyone you hold dear in life, going away to an unknown place in unknown conditions, not knowing if you will ever return, and doing all that not even for some potential personal gain, but for your country, for the good of you and me for the good of our families and friends. It's almost unimaginable. It is a debt for which we can never repay them, nor would they ever ask us to. But what I ask, but what I do ask you is to do, is to actually think about and appreciate your freedom every day. Think of how sacred it is. Then I know your next thought will be for the courageous men and women of the armed forces, both past and present, who have made it possible. And you'll thank them and I think that's something they would like. So to the veterans both here today and to the ones in another place with our beloved Vito, I say thank you. I also want to thank James Stickle for what he has done here. It speaks for itself. It's absolutely beautiful. I also want to take a moment just to thank the men of the men and women of post 6192 without the totality of their efforts we would not have a post and every time i call them out and ask them to help out whether we have veterans day memorial day whatever it is pay our respects to a fallen hero they're always there and i want to say thank you guys this ends our ceremony and thank you all very much for coming <laughs>